Interesting facts about the red squirrel. The red squirrel is a mammal native to Europe and Northern Asia. The UK has 140,000 red squirrels, 75% of which live in Scotland. On average, they can live up to about 6 years, although they are endangered in the wild. They live in nests called trees, where their young are born. Baby red squirrels are called kittens. True to its name, the red squirrel is red, although their fur can sometimes look a little more orange or brown. They are very recognizable compared to gray squirrels with their characteristic red color. Their tails and bellies are usually white, and their coat is thicker in winter to keep them warm. Another cozy feature are the tufts of hair that grow on their ears in cooler temperatures, basically give them their own ear plugs. The same goes for humans, red squirrels have five toes on their feet and four fingers and a thumb on their front paws. This allows you to identify their footprints if you go looking for them. Their ankles have double joints that help them climb trees with ease. To help with balance, they also use their tails. Did you know? The red squirrel tail is a versatile tool. Besides using for balance, they are used to communicate with other red squirrels, reduce their jumping speed to get ready to land, and wrap themselves around to keep warm and palatable. Like their great counterpart, red squirrels eat nuts and seeds like pine nuts and hazelnuts. They also like to eat fruit where available, tree buds, bark, mushrooms and lichens. Although they do not hibernate, red squirrels still store food for the winter when they become less active and hide for warmth. In the absence of kitchen cabinets and pantry, they will store seeds and nuts in the trees and in the ground. Unfortunately, the red squirrel is an endangered species. There are several factors contributing to this. About gray squirrels Gray squirrels were brought to Europe and Asia from North America by wealthy people as pets and curiosities around the Victorian period. Unfortunately, gray squirrels carry a disease called squirrel pox, which can be fatal to red squirrels. Habitat loss forests are disappearing around the world affecting thousands of species. Red squirrels are among the affected species. Predators foxes, storks, fine martens and birds of prey consider red squirrels as prey and will eat them if they can. Traffic as more and more roads enter the forest, more and more animals have to learn to navigate traffic. Unfortunately, sometimes it doesn't end well. Although red squirrel kittens are usually born in litters of up to six, unfortunately only one of these six will live past its first birthday. Since kittens are born blind, they may be vulnerable to attack by predators. Red squirrel lives in the forest, especially coniferous, deciduous and mixed forests. They need lots of trees for food and protection, as well as moss and soil to build their scum. Because the red squirrel is a protected species, Humans sometimes enter and maintain the forest specifically to accommodate the red squirrel, but prevent the gray. Gray squirrels rely on higher calorie nuts and seeds such as acorns, but red squirrels can eat smaller foods. This is one of the reasons why red squirrel numbers are highest in coniferous forests, because the squirrels have a hard time finding enough food and moving away. However, conifers do not produce seeds every year. This is where human intervention comes in, ensuring that a variety of plants are grown and vary in age, to ensure constant seed availability. One of the biggest red squirrel strongholds is Cairngorms National Park. One of the reasons Scotland has such a large concentration of our red striped friends is because of the country's rich woodlands, a perfect habitat for squirrels. 
Cairngorms National Park is a great place to find red squirrels, but be sure to keep looking if you're visiting, they might be in the trees. Thank for watching. Thank for keep subscribe and share.